Okay, guys, uh, I just did this fabulous intro, and I talked for a while, and I uh, didn't record any of it, so this is going to be a very short intro. I've got Dave with me today, I'm trying to catch some trout, and then we're going to possibly uh, sheepshead, well, we, we're not possibly, we are going to sheepshead fish some, because he hasn't tried that out yet, so let's see how it works out. Very cautious. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's it. There is my first big sheep's head. Your feet. The funny part about that is. No, I just started to yeah. kind of realize, like, huh, yeah. it feels it feels a little strange. And he just he stayed on it. That was a small one, by the way. Still had a guy in perfect position. All right, we've moved a couple of docks over. We caught a few fish on the dock next to us. Now we're on a dock that I think is a little more, we've got a chance to catch more fish on. Sheep's head always kind of teach you a lesson <laughs> in humility but they are so fun you don't care if you got crabs in your no I, jacket, I was going to take a few home they, okay because i dropped at least one usually if i'm sheepshead fishing i try to make it where my back is toward the camera because my mouth is like open the whole time like i just <laughs> concentrate yeah, you got your tongue stuck out like Concentrating so much, trying not to get my face on video. Silly today. This hook, I might need to. You're the only professional YouTube fisherman I've ever fished with, so yeah. it's kind of setting the bar. So this is it. A little, I'm setting it pretty low right now. In case y'all are wondering, that's about the fifth or sixth time that's happened. Uh, at least. I think you're underestimating the number oh, come of on. times. No. I just blank stuff out. confident he was going to stay glued. He's a good one. Once we have them, I asked about them swallowing the hook. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Oh! Oh! We may have found oh. them. We may have found them. Man. That felt good. Look at that. All right. We're 
on him. Smile for the camera. I mean, it's not back-to-back -back action today or anything, but man, that's three good quality fish in the box. Quality fish. And Dave can't even spell sheep's head. I mean, he's got three nice sheep's head to take home. That's right. But I've got more. <laughs> I've got more sheep's head by accident today yeah. than you've got yeah. on purpose. <laughs> second. I don't know why I feel like that. It's not the way it's working. Although I did just have that. Well, you know what? I had a bite. You got I, that fish. I missed another fish. Yep. I don't have the crab on at all. Well, I mean, I I threw in right where you got that bite. Yeah. I'm not I'm not brand new at this game. You know enough to throw right That's where right. I got a bite. You, you lose your bait, it's fair game. You got enough sense to do that. Oh, another one. I'll get to the net here in just a second. I want to see first if you. You just want to see if I let it go early. Just stay hooked before I get all excited. There you another go. One. Please. Not like the other ones. Not, not bad. Not bad. Fair and average. It clean up. We can clean this one up. Make him presentable. In his mouth. That just gives me an excuse. What's funny is most people that fish on the bank try to throw their lure out as far away from the bank as they can, and then everybody in a boat throws their lures close to the bank. It's like totally opposite. David's learning. He's learning how to catch sheep's head, guys. I hate to see what it's gonna be like when he figures it out. He's a quick learner. He's a quick learner. Oh yeah. Sir. Hey, boy. That is a good piece. He's a good That guy right there. That's for those of y'all that say fishing's not in That right there. That's the kind of sheep that I see people catch on YouTube. Good ones. Is a good. Is a good mess of meat. These are. Uh, it's not happening for me. These are a little easier to catch than the first ones. That, oh yeah. For some reason. Those big ones are easier. <laughs> Yep, purchasing the fiddler crabs. Looking back on it now, it good? seemed to have been a good idea. Good idea. Oh, remember the camera's on. Oh, I always know what to say. I always know what not to say. What to say? You know what it is? It is I'm too sensitive. I, I'm like not even letting them get. You know, I'm just. Boom, setting a hook. Aggressive, I'm too aggressive. I don't even know you got a fish here's on what, Here's what I caught. That's Paul's. This is a hook and a sinker. It's Paul's right there. Paul, we got your uh, swivel and hook. I'll leave it on the boat for you, Paul. He was looking for it that day. Did you see my, my hook and that uh, swivel weight, that trout weight? Told you I was sensitive. Yeah. I could feel anything, no matter how small the fish. Well, of course, the camera died when I caught my last one, but we caught one about 12 inches. Decent. Keeper size, but we've caught some even bigger ones. Now I gotta say that uh, I gotta say that uh, Dave Dave's a real good learner. He, uh, you know, 
when you catch more fish than the guy you're learning from, it kind of makes you wonder what's happening, like about how, how this whole thing flipped. You know, and some people would probably go, man, Chris, that was really nice of you to, uh, you know, let Dave catch all those fish, and then you kind of took the back. But that's not at all. You know, I'm 100% trying to catch him. I'm not cutting him any slack. About to uh, catch it. Oh, dang it! Come here to me. Yeah, Dave's a real good I'm, learner. I'm not laughing at you. I don't have anything to do with my problems. <laughs> Dave's not causing problems. And he's not he's not offering solutions. But I mean, because at this point I need to learn. Come in and go, God, oh, there's so many fish. You know how many tournaments I'd have won if I'd have caught the fish that I That's the same fish, Dave. He's doing exactly like my fish did. No, this one's... Is that a red fish? No, it's a... That's a good one. Oh, dang! Dang! dang. Let me show you how to use this net. Put it down there in the water. There you go. When you get the fish, oh. you take it and you hand it to the guy. They caught the fish. See Kinda. how easy that is? Well, well, I'm not usually on the other end of this. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Guys, this is my best sheephead bite ever out here. Ever. By far. Yep. I know that I'm going to have uh, several friends in Kansas who are very... You need to say something. You need to say something. Yeah. I'll... I'll I'll, uh, they I'll said the last video, they're like, does Dave ever talk? Yeah, I don't know. I said, Dave who? Look at this, Dave. Oh, that's hot. Okay, let's uh, let's do a comparison here. This isn't even a sheep's head. I gotta this get this rum net out of his teeth. These are very similar fish. But see, I mean, the skill. All right. I mean, anybody could get this hook in that mouth. I mean, that's easy. I think so. Getting this hook in that mouth? Come on. All right, well. Where's this level of skill? You tell me. Yeah, this is a good one. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a few um, guys in Kansas City there. I'm excited. And elsewhere. This is what you got to come down and visit for. Yes, sir. If you like crappie fishing. I'm so excited I'm walking to the front of the it, boat. Is this not like crappie fishing? This is like crappie on steroids. Yeah. For big gigantic sheep's head. I'm yeah, trying to. It's crazy to believe that the big fish are down there. I know. Just... Right all just stacked right there. And now I was making, I was telling uh telling Dave earlier, all these fishing videos I watch, and these guys they'll catch like two or three fish, and they'll say, these fish were stacked. Well, these fish right here. They're stacked. One spot. Let's see what else I can teach Dave how to do. Um, She's the best learner. You're the best learner I've ever had, Dave. Well, thanks. I taught for 30 years. Pretty administrator, good. school administrator, teacher. I taught teachers how to teach. what happens I don't think I even told him what to do uh, you're being too modest <laughs> <laughs> a lot of nuances in this well when you fished it's like I said that last time when you're a good fisherman you don't have to have too much instruction Keeping him because we got bigger fish to fry. Literally. Is this a normal size for? That sounds fine. And... 
All right, guys, we are going to head in. I think the thing's still running. So we will make a fond ado. Now how they say it? A fond ado? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, hey, Dave got on some good, good sheep's head. That's a very good sheep's head. Yes, I'm was. excited for the rest of the winter. Because you know what? Last winter, I really didn't fish for sheep's head. Oh, that's officially my best day of sheep's head fishing ever. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a good day. There's the box at the end of the day. That's some nice sheep's head. There's some big, big boys and girls. Yeah, let's take our word for this it. This is an 85 quart cooler. Yeah. That's how big those fish are. Yeah, we got 85 quarts of sheep's head. No. <laughs> <laughs>